Hello, Marana High School families and guardians of Marana High School students. I'm uh, David Mandel. I'm principal at Marana High School. I wanted to welcome you to the 2020-2021 school year, a unique year for, for everyone involved. I want to take this opportunity and share, number one, that I'm uh, so thankful that uh, you're, you're part of our community and that you continue to be a supporter of Marana High School. And I also want to take this opportunity to share some of the uh, aspects of remote learning that's starting August 5th. A major question on everyone's mind is, when will in-person schooling begin again? And uh, after last Friday's exec or Thursday's order from our governor, uh, August 17th is no longer that benchmark date. Arizona Department of Health Services is going to work in conjunction with local health departments to establish metrics that districts should use to determine when we return in person to school. So more about in person schooling uh, and dates will be coming uh, in the coming weeks and to your inbox and uh, other sources near you. So please look out for that. But let's talk about remote learning. Uh, before August 5th, uh, schedules are going to be published on student view and parent view. That's actually today. So you can go and you can look at them. Chromebooks are available by appointment and also to visit the bookstore is available by appointment. Information has been sent out and is also in the email that accompanied this video. So uh, you can check your student parent view for information on how to access Google Classrooms for August 5th. So students, you are gonna have to access your Google Classrooms for your, for your courses. Uh, before August 5th and information will be sent in those venues to you. Ninth graders come into us, your orientation, your link activities will be on Monday, August 3rd from 1 to 2 p.m. online, information will come. So let's talk about some of the basics of remote learning. Your teachers are Marana High School teachers. The curriculum is from MUSD and Marana High School. Lessons are created by MHS teachers. Google Classroom is an important uh, platform for you to understand and to know. Grades and credits are earned starting August 5th and your attendance matters beginning day one. There's gonna be a balance of live and flipped time and these two terms are important to understand. Live means when you're expected to be on Zoom and collaborating with your teacher and with your fellow students. Flipped means that you're working on your own time. Flipped lessons will be sent out based on the period of when you would attend that class. It is something though you can do at a time of, of your choosing. So uh, each of these live and flipped sessions will be alternating in a schedule that we'll see next. Attendance is taken every period and your attendance matters and students will need to engage with the live and flip lessons each day for each class. So we're gonna follow our bell schedule and your attendance matters. So student classes are scheduled according to the bell schedule for Marana High School. So your first period on your schedule aligns with first period on the bell schedule, even in this remote time. So you should plan on being available for your live or flip classes during the normal school day. So live from, you, uh, your odd periods are live Monday and Wednesday. Your even periods are live Tuesday and Thursday. Flipped classes, well, for even Monday and Wednesday, odd classes Tuesday and Thursday. And Friday, your II will be live and periods one through six will be by teacher choice. Now to be clear, this doesn't mean that during the flip sessions, you need to sit in front of your screen waiting for something to happen. Uh, that is that is not the case. You will get assignments that you can choose to do during that time period or at another time of your choosing. So what will school look like? Uh, we're all interested in kind of assignments and grades that those are important parts of school. All graded work will have due dates, but there won't be a penalty for late work in terms of your grade through October 2nd. However, I want to encourage you to keep up with your due dates. For your teachers. This is how they gauge your learning and this is how they can give you the best feedback about where you stand in terms of your learning and your grade. So there are going to be assignments for learning. These are going to be things, tasks that you're given to do on your own um, and things that aren't necessarily graded or receive feedback. There are assignments to show learning and so this is these are things that you will turn in to your teachers and show them. These may receive feedback, they may receive a grade, but they're important nonetheless. Now, there are also assignments to assess learning, and these are assignments that you will turn in that receive both a grade and feedback. 
So communication, parents, you're going to want to look out for a phone call from your child's second period teacher. Those will start soon and be wrapped up by August 7th. So please be on the lookout for those, those phone calls and please answer, answer those calls. Uh, weekly plans will be sent to students and parents on Monday mornings. And you know, this is going to be an important template to look at uh, in terms of your overview for the week. Attendance will be entered each day for each period. So a student is present when they engaged with that class. They are absent if they did not engage, and students have six days to demonstrate engagement with each class. Grades will be posted weekly, and assignments and assessments will be graded. Feedback for students will be shared electronically, and this will all be taken place in Google Classroom. So I wanted to take a second and think about if my child was in remote learning, which they are, uh, what are a couple tips that I might give for parents? And the first is consult the weekly schedule together on Monday mornings as a routine. And I say Monday morning, but it could be Monday afternoon, really at any time early in the week. Look over that weekly schedule for each class together and highlight those important things, assignments, tasks, things that need to be done so you and your child have an overview of the week. Plan out and set reminders for the live sessions. Those are really important to be attentive to and to be present for. So take a moment and set reminders, set calendar uh, appointments in the computer so that your child shows up to those ready to go. And also check in daily to see if assignments were completed. They're all in Google Classroom, so you can tell if an assignment was completed and turned in. And if you line up the weekly schedule that's sent out in Google Classroom, you'll be able to tell what should be submitted and what's just an assignment for students to work on. I would not wait for grades. We all know that there's a lag time between when something is turned in and when it's graded, and that lag time could prove problematic if we're not also checking Google Classroom. I wanted to show you the faces of our administrative team, uh, Mr. D, Mr. Hernandez, Ms. Nakarati, Ms. Piscina, and Mr. Roram, all here to serve you and your students. And also share some contact information. That's my email address. I work with the Math and Science Department. That's the school's phone number right there. Uh, Ms. Nakarati is working with the ELA, so English and PE. Uh, Mr. Roram is working with Social Studies and Counseling. Mr. Deeb with CTE. Ms. Piscina with Fine Arts, World Languages, and Exceptional Student Services. And our Dean and Athletic Director is Michael Hernandez. So parents, just a, a, a note, make sure that you're emailing teachers at the at morenausd.org. Um, we also have Google email addresses, and those do not receive emails from external uh, emails outside of our Google system. So please make sure that you're emailing at that address. You can also click to email in Parent View. If you go into Parent View, you can click and it generates an email directly to that person. If you have attendance questions, the attendance line is there, extension 5423. Also, you can email at mhsattendance at moranausd.org. And also, because we are working remotely, if you have technology questions concerning our devices, the Chromebooks that we're checking out to you, and you can't solve them yourself, you can email technical support at moranausd.org. So parents and students, I'm looking very forward to that day when we can safely begin in-person live uh, classes together. Until then, we're gonna operate remotely, and I assure you that your teachers are working hard, diligently, and uh, are excited to begin teaching you in this context. So uh, take care, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope this answered some of your questions.